Hey guys, it's Jenna, and I'm going to be doing some intonation and inflection exercises. The first one is on 326. Where? 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 No. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Here's your tea. How'd it go? I want it now. I bought some books, pens and ink. Up, up, and away. He did. What time? Next week. On top of the desk. On top of the desk. Sunshine power, sunlight powers the world. It strikes the earth as radiant energy, and it strikes. And as it strikes, it is changed into a bewildering variety of other forms. It lifts the water in, of the oceans high above the earth, providing a store of potential energy in the clouds. It appears in awesome forms in hurricanes and in lightning bolts. It is also a form of chemical energy stored silently by the green plants of the oceans. Chemical energy to be transformed in many ways to serve the energy needs of man. Each of these many pathways, whether in living or in non-living systems, conforms to the law of conservation of energy. The flashing of a firefly on a hot summer night, the flow of electricity from the generations of Hoover Dam, the generators of Hoover Dam, the surging power of a swordfish, all conform in the same universal law. Um, I forgot to do um, passages from 322, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to do three different passages. Three different passages. Learning is finding out what you already know. Doing is demonstrating what, that you know it. Teaching is, remi is reminding others that they know just as well as you. You are all learners, doers, teachers. That was the middle key reading. And I'm going to do the low key. I learned on the gate for a moment. I leaned on the gate for a moment, breathing in some sweet, the sweet air. There had been a change during the last week. The harsh winds had dropped. Everything had softened and green, and the warming land off gave off its scents. In the lower slopes of the fell, in the shade of the pine woods, a pale mist of bluebells drifted among the dead bronze of the bracken, and their fragrance came up to me on the breeze. And then high key, high key readings. Um, if you shut your eyes and are a lucky one, you may see at times a shapeless pool of lovely pale colors suspended in the darkness. Then if you squeeze your eyes together, the pool begins to take shape and the colors become so vivid that you, that with another squeeze, you must go on fire. Just before, they go on fire, you see the lagoon. This is the nearest you'll ever get to the mainland. Just one heavenly moment. If there could be two, mom two moments, you must see the surf and hear the mermaid singing. Okay, thanks guys.